Welcome, this is Jay with Explorer Systems. We're going to take a look at updating Versailles to a new version. When a new version of Versailles is released, we notify users who are registered on Versailles.com and the support forum. You can then plan a date to complete the update process. Updates should only be performed when all users are logged off after you close for the day. The first couple of times you update, you should do it in the evening to allow yourself enough time in case you run into any problems. If you are trying to do it in the morning, before you open and run into issues, it could potentially delay opening. We strongly recommend against updating on Fridays or on the weekends or any time right before you and your IT tech are not going to be present for when your staff starts to use the new version or when Versailles support is not open to assist you with any unforeseen issues. Updating Versailles has four parts. Prepare, Update Database, Update Forms, and update workstations. Let's walk through each stage. Part 1. Prepare. To prepare for the update, we will need to back up your database, back up your forms, download the update zip folder, unzip it, and check the instructions. Before you begin, make sure that you are able to log directly onto your server, have the system administrator or SA password, and that Versailles is closed on all computers. The first step is to always make a backup of your database. If you run into problems during the update, you can easily restore the backup copy to undo any changes that were made. You create a backup in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio using the SA account. For step-by-step -step instructions on how to backup your database, launch the Versailles manual and find the backup topic under the Help tab section. Make sure to remove any existing locations and then add the new location. When you're naming your file, make sure to end with the .bak extension. If you forget, you'll need to remember to add it later before you can use the file. While your database is backing up, you can back up your forms. Open your network share and find your Versailles report forms folder. Right click on the folder and choose copy. And in the white space, right click and choose paste. Rename the folder copy with the Versailles version number you currently have. Drag and drop the copy into the original folder and then open it. Any old versions you find can be deleted since they're contained inside the new backup folder. Now, log into Versailles.com. On the Software Downloads page, click Current Versailles Updates. Click the version noted in the notification email. It will usually be the top one, but make sure in case there's a special version out as well. Save the zip folder to the server desktop. Details on what is included in this update are listed at the bottom of the page. After it's downloaded, right-click on it and select Unzip. Now, open the folder and look for the instructions document. Make sure each time to always read through the instructions document before beginning the update process. While most updates work the same way, occasionally there will be important additional steps that you need to take for a certain version. Note the included update web address. We'll need that later. Now that we've backed up the database, backed up the forms, downloaded the update zip folder, unzipped it, and read the instructions, we can continue to part two. Part two, update database. While still on the server, Go back to the unzipped update folder. Launch the runDatabaseScripts.exe application. Click the Browse button. We're going to run the database scripts, so we'll open the database scripts folder inside the unzipped update folder. Inside, you'll find the script manifest file, which is the only file this application will see. Select the file and click Open. Now we'll fill in the rest of the boxes. It's just like signing into Versailles. In fact, you can open the Versailles login screen and copy the first two boxes from there into the Run Database Scripts application. Make sure to then close Versailles again. Next, type in SA and the SA account password in the other two boxes. Then, click the Run Scripts button. The manifest will take several minutes to run. It will periodically pause while it is executing a large operation. If there is an error, it will stop and display a red error message. If it is successful, it will display Manifest Completed at the end. Part 3. Update Forms Return to the unzipped Update folder and open the Report Forms folder. 
highlight all of the files and copy them by pressing the Control and C keys on your keyboard or using the copy function in the menu. Now return to the Versailles Report Forms folder on your network share. Paste the copied files using the paste function in the menu or by pressing the Control and V keys on your keyboard. When prompted, make sure you choose to replace all of the existing files with the newer versions. All of your merge templates you created in the folders at the top will be retained. These files we're copying now are just the data reports. If you customize some of the default report files, you will still have those versions saved in the backup you made earlier. You can open the old file to see how you customized it to recreate the customization in the new version. Never drag and drop or save as to replace a newer version of a report with an older version. New versions can include new features, different calculations, or modified field names. And if you try to run an old file, you could get error messages or even incorrect or incomplete data without realizing it because some of the changes might not be ones you can see. If you ever customize a report file, make sure to save as and add a suffix, like your initials, to the end of the file name rather than saving over the default file so that you can have easier access to it after an update. Part 4. Update Workstations The workstation update takes about 30 seconds for each computer, but up to 2 minutes depending on the computer's specs. After updating your database, the next time a user logs into Versailles in each Windows profile, they'll get a message prompting them to click OK to update to the new version. Make sure to alert your staff the day before so they are expecting it. Provide users with the update web address from the update instructions in case they accidentally click past the message or don't receive the message. You might want to handle the updates for shared workstations such as front desk cache registers. Clicking OK on the message will take you to the update web address. Click Install to download the setup.exe file. Make sure you know where your downloads save or manually save it to a location you can find. Once it is finished downloading, double click on the setup.exe file to launch the installer. It will automatically run and as soon as it has reached the end of the progress bar, you can then log in to Versailles. Your update is complete and you can delete the setup.exe file, the update zip folder, and the unzipped folder. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for when we upload additional videos. And remember, we're here to help. You can reach the Explorer System support team on the Versailles support forum or on the support phone line.